Welcome to SethCraft. This is the Creality Ender 3 V3 3D printer. Now I've already made about 15 things on this 3D printer and it is working very well. Let's take a trip back in time and watch my unboxing and setup and my first 3D print with this machine. Let's check out the contents of the box. Here are all the components found in the Creality Ender 3 V3. First of all, we have the base plate, as you can see right here. Over here is the gantry. It's upside down at the moment. This is the touch screen. We have a little bit of extra or sample filament to use. The tube for directing the filament. A couple of little clips that will be used. And then these three fittings over here are to hold the spools. We got the power cable, and then in the kit, there is a pair of snippers, some oil, there's a USB drive, some tools, some hardware. We got some zip ties and a cleaning tool here. And that's all the components found in the box. Let's begin the assembly. I have the gantry, and I'm going to install the filament spool holder. I've got this plastic piece here. It's going to angle up on these little screws over here pop that into place, press it down. Now this spool holder is going to go onto the back side here. I'm just going to place it in, turn it till it is locked down, and that should be good to go. Now this piece will be installed here in just a moment, but let's move on to the base plate now. The first step with the base is to turn it this way and look into this small hole right here. There is a switch that will go from 230 volts to 115 volts because here in the US we use 115 volt. There's a little switch down in there. Maybe you can see it. Take the screwdriver and just flip that over there so it says 115 volt. Now that I've changed over the power to 115 volts, I'm gonna take the gantry, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to place it into position right here so that the stepper motors go into this little hole here. Slide this down into position. And I'm gonna use some of the little screws that were shipped with this unit. They will go in by Allen wrench. I'm going to place these here into the front and tighten it down and then do that on both the left and right side. Now there are four screws remaining. I want to tilt this up so that I can access the underside. Next it's time to install the touch screen. I'm gonna remove the protective film and then also gonna remove the protective film from the touch screen, as you can see right there. Now on the back, there is a flat cable and I want to make sure that I get that lined up correctly and installed. Now that I have the gantry attached to the base plate, it's time to get the wires plugged up. Let's start with this one right here. First we have the filament detection line. It's going to clip into the side right here. And then next we're going to take this piece and clip it into this right over here to make sure it stays where it should. Once I have that installed, I can then take this piece right here and uh, the sticker can go away here in just a moment. But uh, this is going to clamp right here into the top. And there's a little plastic piece which is going to go on top of that and allow this to basically be clipped in here and not come back out. So next I'm gonna connect the stepper motor control cables. Go ahead and click this one in over here on this side. Now this side also has a limit switch that needs to be connected, and that is just gonna be this little tiny cable right here. And the last of the cables is just to connect the power cable right here on the back of the machine. I have a spool of multicolored filament that I'm gonna be using. So I'm going to get this started by pulling it out of this, and then I can simply cut this at a 45 degree here. So let me get this cut out of 45. There we go. And now it's time to put this onto the holder over here. And then the piece that wasn't used earlier has a spring on it. 
and that's supposed to prevent this from unraveling. So I'm just going to take this on both sides, clip it into position, and that will hang down. And it's spring-loaded to keep the filament in there. I'm going to plug the power cord into the wall real quick. I'm gonna follow the instructions on the screen to select my English for the language. Say that you've read this privacy policy. Set up my Wi-Fi. Set up the time zone. Now it's ready to make the self-check. The self-check is now complete. I'm gonna push OK down here. Looks like there is a new version. I'm going to download that. It took a while for the firmware to update and to get the leveling and self-check done, but I believe it's now time to get the filament loaded up and get this first print started. I'm gonna find my filament end here, and I want to push this up through this tube right down here. Let this go through. I'm going to attach this Teflon tube right here. I'm going to feed these plastic guides over this tube. There's three of them in total. Now that I have the tube connected, I'm going to press the filament through until it follows through this guide all the way to the printer head. I'm going to press the unlock toggle switch like this. And I'm going to pull this tube back out slightly so that I can feed this down in here. Then I want to press the lock back into position. Go to these settings, go to the extrude, and want to extrude here. It's gonna heat that up. I had some yellow in here previously, and that is being removed as you can see right here. All right, there we go. The new PLA is now added. It's gotten rid of the previous color and it is now set up and ready to start printing. I'm gonna insert the USB drive that came with the printer and see if we can't get a model to load up. Let's go ahead and load up a 13 minute Benchy and see what happens whenever I press print here. I feel like my first ever 3D print was successful enough. Now the bed had a lot of shake because of my uh, table is not very sturdy. And so I'm noticing there are some uh, imperfections, especially the higher up it went on the model. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So I think I will redo this on a table that is a lot more sturdy and hopefully get some even better results there. After you've popped your model off of this, you have to uh, reseat the plate. And luckily it has those two screws right there and it seems to uh, make a really nice connection. It's quite a strong magnet. So my thoughts on the Creality Ender 3 version 3 3D printer is that it is packaged very well. The price point is nice. The assembly was good. The print job turned out good enough considering it was shaking all about. Um, so I think the printer worked well once I got it installed. I will have to use this printer with some uh, different models and see how well it performs after that. But the main thing will be to put this printer on a much more stable base. I will have a link to this 3D printer in the description down below. I uh, was given this printer for one of my other YouTube channels and thought I would make a video here on Sethcraft. So uh, I didn't buy this with my own money but I do have a printer coming up that I did pay for. So stay tuned for that opening and installation as well. I'm Seth with Sethcraft and I will see you in the next video. Bye.